Hi, and welcome to the Pediatric Nursing Podcast Series. This series provides extended content related to the Pediatric Nursing Journal, such as author interviews and updates about the Pediatric Nursing Conference. In this episode, Dr. Louise Jakubik, who is a pediatric nursing and workforce development expert, will provide an overview of the Pediatric Nursing Certification Review Course, which she, along with Dr. Janice Seligman, will present at the upcoming Pediatric Nursing Conference being held July 26th through the 28th at the Marriott Wardman Park Hotel in Washington, D.C. Full details about the conference are available online at pedconference.net. That's pedconference.net. We are pleased to present Dr. Jakubik as she talks about the importance of becoming certified as a pediatric nurse and how the two-day pediatric certification review course will assist in preparing for the certification examination. Hello, and welcome to the Pediatric Nursing Podcast Series. My name is Dr. Louise Jakubik, and I have the pleasure of being both the conference chairperson for the Pediatric Nursing Annual Conference, as well as a co-presenter for the two-day pre-conference, the Pediatric Nursing Certification Review Course, held on July 25th and 26th, 2018. The purpose of this podcast is to give you some information about the two-day pre-conference and get you excited about attending. So before I begin with some of the details, I'd like to give you the information about how to find more information on the web, as well as how to register for the pre-conference and the main conference. Again, the pre-conference is on July 25th and 26th, with the main conference to follow on July 27th and 28th. The web address is www.pedconference.net. That's www.pedconference.net. So now let's jump into information about the two-day pediatric nursing certification review course. I'm so excited to talk with you about this course. This course is now in its 16th edition, if you can believe that, with a passing rate of more than 95%. It's a fun two-day course. It zooms by. It just flies because it's packed with information to get you ready to take your pediatric nursing certification exam. So let's begin at the beginning with some information about the certification exams, and then we'll jump into information about the two-day course. There are two valid and reliable pediatric nursing exams nationally. The first is the CPN exam, or the Certified Pediatric Nurse Exam. It is published by the Pediatric Nursing Certification Review Board. Their web address is www.pncb.org. The other valid and reliable pediatric nursing exam, certification exam, is the pediatric nursing exam, which is published by the American Nurses Credentialing Center. And that web address is www.nursecredentialing.org. So now that you have a little more information about where to access resources about the two pediatric nursing certification exams, I'd like to jump into talking about the pediatric nursing certification review course. Um, As I mentioned, it's in its 16th edition with passing rates of more than 95 percentile nationally. Um, I have the pleasure of uh, presenting this two-day course with my co-author on the Pediatric Nursing Certification Review book, Dr. Janice Seligman. So the two of us will be there for both days facilitating your two-day pre-conference experience. Just a little bit of information about the two-day course and what it entails. I think the number one thing for you to remember um, is that you'll be spending two days with the two national experts on pediatric nursing certification review. And our goal really is to leave no stone unturned. We really want you to get the information that you need to be able to study for and pass the exam. And so one of the things I think that's really fun about these pre-conferences is they tend to be intimate. So we'll have time, you know, one-on-one and in small group settings to meet your individual needs, to answer your questions as we move you through this two-day course and get you ready for the exam. So a little bit of information about the two-day course. The course is designed around the content outlines for both of these major national certification exams that I had recently mentioned. And so we'll follow those exam content outlines as we move through the content. What you'll appreciate is that we're going to spend more time in areas that have more questions and less time in areas with fewer questions. So we really will uh, move along in that manner. 
just to give you a little bit of an outline of what the two days look like, we begin day one with a review of the exam content outlines, the breakdown of questions in each area, and certainly we spend time talking about test taking and test taking techniques, as well as some of the details about the exam, breakdown of the exam, test taking, and, and some of the information about computer-based exams and what to expect. We'll spend a large part of our morning on day one studying information about growth and development, including health promotion, screening, and prevention. Those are areas combined which make up a large content area on these exams. And so we spend a good two hours, two hours plus on that content because you can expect about 20 questions in that area. We'll then, in the latter part of day one, move into clinical problems, which will take us throughout the rest of day one and all of day two. Clinical problems on these exams makes up about two-thirds of the exams, and for that reason, we'll spend about two-thirds of the course on that content. And again, as I said, we'll spend an hour and a half in sections like GI that have 20 questions, and we'll spend a lot less time in areas with, with far fewer questions. So the format that we use in this two-day pre-conference is to expose you to content and then to give you practice exam uh, questions. I think there's never really anything that compares to taking questions that mimic an exam-style question. So what we like to do is to review content in an interactive way, and then we use audience response clickers so you have an individual opportunity to click in and answer exam-style questions. We found that classes just really, really enjoy the interactive nature and they really appreciate having access to hundreds of Q&A questions in a live classroom environment with feedback from facilitators about why one question answer is correct and another, uh, another answer is incorrect. So again, makes for a very engaging as well as really, really exam focused experience. That's a, a, a pretty much of an, an overview of the two days and what you can expect. Again, I spend most of my weeks traveling across the country presenting this two-day review. Um, I can tell you it is interactive. It's upbeat. It fills you with content. It makes you feel smart. It makes you realize how much you know, probably more than you realize, and really does get you ready and focused on how to prepare and how to get ready to take your certification exam in pediatric nursing and pass. I look forward to seeing you at the event on July 25th and 26th. Again, uh, check out more information and register at the conference website, which is www.pedconference.net. Again, Louise Jakubik, your uh, conference and your pre-conference facilitator signing off. Looking forward to seeing you in Washington, D.C. this July. Take care. The Pediatric Nursing Podcast Series is owned and produced by Genetti Publications Incorporated. All rights reserved. No portion of this podcast may be used without written permission. For archived episodes of this podcast and to learn more about pediatric nursing, visit the journal's website at pediatricnursing.net. You can also subscribe to the Pediatric Nursing Podcast on iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, our hosting site Spreaker, and other various podcast delivery services.